Aloha players, Warboss Tay up in this mood. Welcome to day number nine of Project Wood Elves. And unfortunately, as you can see, I did not get any of the base coats done on my remaining quarrelers. I didn't have really any time today to get into them. So you see the two guys in the back, that one I painted for a test model and this second that I did for the painting tutorial. And I got to work on this one guy's skin and hair but really what I spent the day doing the most was just finishing my cannon and what that meant was just going back over the highlights and getting keeping that dull dark metal but if you look at the barrel I'm really proud of of my work that I did on the barrel let's zoom in a little bit yeah so it doesn't look too bright still got that dark oily sheen to it and um, just really happy with with how the barrel came out so the cannon is completely done now all I have to do is worry about the crew and tomorrow hopefully I can I can get the base coats down on my guys but but once I was I was painting my my standard bearer and I decided you know I was just tired I was running out of time um, and I decided just to really work on my standard bearer so I did finish him so let's take a look at him for a second. Now as you can see I decided to make him a blonde. He's smoking his half halfling pipe weed. And um, let's see what else is there to say about him. He's got his two-handed axe on his back. Um, the, the, the thing about the dwarf sprue for the quarrelers is it's packed with so much stuff like all these extra standards and all these extra musician instruments and stuff but they don't have just free standing crossbows they have some free standing pistols so if you want to like strap pistols to the waists of some of your guys like your heroes and your musicians and stuff then you can do that but they don't have crossbows where you can do the same so unfortunately my guy doesn't have a crossbow with him if he could then I would strap a crossbow to his back and then I would have him say that this standard is his two-handed weapon. Um, something else for you dwarf players that you might notice is that on the original piece there are runes on the pages and that means I guess that you just have to paint these up, paint the book up like it's a like it's a uh, you know a big metal standard and I decided you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna chop off the runes and I am going to paint it as a as if it were a book so that's what I did put some dwarven runes in there and just painted up some script and yeah I also thought it was interesting that the dwarves have the the lambda symbol for Sparta um, yeah I thought that was interesting on the shield the upside down V but I'm really happy with the detail in this guy unfortunately he was all I got to finish I started dozing off and <laughs> And saying, you know what, I gotta, I gotta get to sleep. Right, so, um, so I'm gonna call it here, and I am going to go off and um, plan for my upcoming day. So, like I said, the the next day, day 10, I am planning, hopefully, to get base coats on the rest of my guys. So skin, hair, uh, beards, armor, crossbow, and I've already figured out how to do the guys in the back since I've had practice with the with my test model and with my war boss tutorial guys so I'm I'm gonna do these guys in the back holding their crossbows up first and then I'll get to the guys in the front the last thing I want to let you guys know is that yesterday at my local hobby stores game gaming night I picked up a fine cast battle standard bearer and a dwarf lord with shield bearers and these guys came as a as a trade deal for me so i saw that this one local gamer had them had them up for trade for sale and i said you know what my little dwarf force needs some leaders and you know the price was right so i thought okay sure why not so, oh, fine cast. Look how look how thin the uh, the material on the flag is. I might have to 
reinforce that with some liquid green stuff. Um, but I'm super happy that now if I ever decide to field my dwarf army, then I at least have a dwarf general and a standard bearer. So the dwarf painting project is still going. Lost a little steam today. I only got um, my cannon finished and one one dwarf quarreler, the standard bearer. But also it takes so much time to paint the blonde hair. Because uh, I really like to, let's take a look at old blondie for a second. I really like to get get all the highlighting to my, you know, to my liking. But, but I love it. I love it when it comes out. It's just when I'm doing it, I'm just... And just, uh, time just flies so fast. Alright, so thanks for watching everybody. And, um, again, thanks to Christopher from AG Productions for inspiring me to start this project. And to have a clear goal in mind. And, um, I hope you guys all out there, guys and girls out there in, in painting hobby land, can find a project that you're wanting to to start or to finish and join up with me let's let's get this painting train moving let's ramp up the challenges and uh, let's keep our eyes on the prize and I'd love to make it to the finish with you all and I, I think I can with this with this goal that I set for my dwarf battalion so thanks for watching leave a comment uh, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already and we'll see you in the next one okay take care everybody